Here's the answer to question 2f. So we want to factorise this expression here. So it's a quadratic term. We've got our x squared in there. And so this is now where we've got our coefficient of x squared is not 1. So that means the process that we go through is a little bit longer now. So what I want to do first of all is I'm going to take the, the if I take my general equation ax squared plus bx plus c, I'm going to take the constant by itself, which is negative 10, and the coefficient of x squared, which is 6, and I'm going to multiply those together. And that's going to give me a value of negative 60. Now I want to think about all the different multiples of negative 60. So I could do 1 times negative 60. I could do negative 1 times positive 60. I could do 2 times negative 30 or negative 2 times positive 30. I could do 3 times negative 10 or negative 3 times positive 10. Um, 4, can I do 4? Um, yes, I could do 4 times negative 12 or negative 4 times positive 12. 5, I could do 5 times, oh hang on, it's not 4 times 12. Sorry, it should be 4 times 15. It goes into 15s. Um, and then it's 5 times negative 12 or negative 5 times positive 12. Or I can do 6 times negative 10, or negative 6 times positive 10. 7 can't do, 8 can't do, 9 can't do, and then I'm finished. So now what I need to do is I need to think about adding those numbers. And I've got to figure out which of these ones add to give me negative 11. That's what I'm looking for. So if I did 1 plus negative 60, then that's going to give me negative 59. Negative 1 plus 60 is going to give me positive 59. 2 plus negative 30 is going to give me negative 28. Negative 2 plus 30 will give me positive 28. 3 plus negative 10 will give me negative 7. Negative 3 plus 10 is positive 7. 4 plus negative 15 equals negative 11. And that's the one that I'm looking for. So that tells me that I want to separate out my numbers um, using those two there, five and negative four, sorry, four and negative fifteen. So I'm going to write this expression as six x squared, and instead of the negative eleven x, I'm going to write that as plus four x minus fifteen x. Okay, so I'm just rewriting that negative 11x. Alright, now what I want to do is I want to group these first two bits together. And I want to factorise those pieces. So I'm going to say 6x squared plus 4x, what do they have in common? Well, I can factorise out a 2 and an x out. If I take 2x out of 6x squared, well 2 times what is 6? 2 times 3 is 6. And x times what is x squared? I need another x there. Plus, again, 2 times what equals 4 is 2, and I've already got the x. Now I'm going to take these next two pieces and do the same process with them. I'm going to factorise them. So then I'm going to say, right, minus 15x, take away 10. I can take out negative 5 as a common factor. So that's going to leave me with 3x plus 2. Now what I'm hoping you notice is that we've got this bracket here and this bracket here and they both have that factor of 3x plus 2. So what we've got is we've got 2x times that bracket minus 5 times that same bracket. So I'm going to factorise out that whole bracket 3x plus 2 and I'm going to take it out of the first piece and that's going to leave me with 2x and take it out of the second piece and it leaves me with a 5 and that is my final answer.